We are the primary health network. We were established in 1985, so we've been around for about 36 years now. Um, our main location and where we started is in downtown Sharon, Pennsylvania. However, we have 50 offices, well, over 50 offices now across the state of Pennsylvania providing behavioral health, medical, and um, dental services, all outpatient. At the Primary Health Network, we are a community health center. What makes us a little bit different than other healthcare organizations is that we see everybody. We see patients regardless of their ability to pay. So we see patients that are underinsured, that are uninsured. So anyone who needs care, we provide high quality, excellent care to them. Like I said before, all of our facilities are outpatient facilities. We're not affiliated with any larger systems or hospitals, but we have over 160 providers and 450 support staff in our network. At the Primary Health Network, my position is the provider recruiter. I also do recruiting for other areas of the network, including the staff and departments. Um, I am housed in the Human Resources Department, and in order to have this position, I have a bachelor's degree in Human Resources, um, and I'm hoping someday to obtain my SHRM, Society for Human Resources Certification, and, and maybe my master's degree. Um, but across the network, we have a lot of different positions. Um, all of our offices, have a lot of different clinical positions, including medical assistants, front office assistants, as well as management positions, um, such as a practice manager. Um, of course, at all the offices, we do have different kinds of doctors, nurse practitioners, social workers, dentists, and then we have the department staff that you would kind of expect in any business setting. Um, the finance department, marketing department, um, the administrative team, the operations department. So. There's a lot more than just the, the traditional healthcare careers that you would think of um, that you could go into at Primary Health Network. The one great thing about the job outlook for healthcare is that we're always going to be needed um, in different capacities. You know, especially right now in the midst of this pandemic, we've kind of had to adapt to what the needs are in the communities that we're serving. But like I said, we're always going to be around. Patients are always going to need care, um, so it is a secure field to work in. Um, especially for those folks who are interested in the clinical side, but in the departmental side as well. Um, they're always gonna need support so that the nonprofit uh, organization that we run can run efficiently. When applying for a job in healthcare, and really I think it goes into any industry, but I think the most important skills um, probably are to be able to be a critical thinker and to problem solve in you know any situation that you're thrown into because healthcare, like other industries, is unpredictable and ever changing. If you're interested um, at jobs in our organization, there are a lot of different avenues that we use to advertise our positions. Um, we are very active on our website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Monster. Um, and just as a young professional, being active on LinkedIn is always a good thing. Um, it's something that employers can go and look at and see, you know, what your previous experiences are. Even if, you know, even if there's not a ton right now at this point in your career, that's okay. Um, also, what your future interests are. What are you going to be aspiring to do in the future? So definitely being active on there is um, beneficial for future employers when they're looking um, at, you know, you as a candidate.